Hi, welcome to your 10 minute tone. This one is glutes for beginners, so it's going to be working through your bottoms, getting them active and working well. We're going to start standing and then come onto a mat, so make sure you've got one ready. When we start standing, we're just going to take the feet out so that they're a little bit wider than the hips and that we're turning the toes out to 10 to 2, if you imagine a clock. From there, we're going to lift up through the crown of the head, so nice and tall, opening across the collarbone. And just make sure that the tailbone is pointing towards the floor so that we've got just a soft arch through the lower back. We're not pushing the tummy out or tucking the tailbone under. So that finding that midpoint and then just gently engaging those lower abdominals. And we're just going to make sure before we start that we've got an arch through the foot. So we don't want to be collapsing the foot inwards and leaning on the inner, inner part of the foot. We want to lift the arch so the midfoot is raised and that we've got the pressure nice and evenly from the heels all the way to the balls of the feet. From there, we're just going to bend into the knees, send them out over the feet, and then come back up. Make sure that the knees press out so that we don't roll the foot back in again, and that also helps switch on through your bottom. So you should feel like you're having to squeeze your bottom the whole time, coming down and up. Like I say, lower abdominals engaged so we're nice and tall through the spine. Now how low you come is up to you, obviously the lower you go, the harder it becomes to maintain that position, pushing the knees out, lifting the arch of the foot. So if you need to, make it a slightly shallower squat, but maintain the quality of the move. We've got five more. Five, and four, and three, keep the knees pressing out, arch the foot lifted. One, this time we're going to come down and we're going to pulse. Coming down, squeezing the bottom, keeping the knees pressing out to your sides. For 10, 9, 8, 7, nice and tall, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze the bottom and come up. Now either come back to that position or if you want to, take it a little bit wider and go a little bit deeper. Again, knees need to come out over the feet to so press them out, leave the arch through the foot. We're going to go for 10. Nine, squeeze that bottom. Seven, six, five, tall through the spine. Four, three, two, and one. Come up, we've got one more set. So a little bit wider, a little bit deeper, or stay where you are. Press the knees out, lift the arch of the foot, squeezing through the bottom for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, squeeze the bottom, come up, heel toe back in again, shake it off, and we're going to come down to the mat from here. So down on the mat we're going to come onto all fours, we're going to bring the wrists under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. From there we want to find a nice position for the spine, so we lift the head up in line with the rest of the spine, drop the shoulders away from the ears, and make sure the belly isn't dropping to the floor or arching up, we want to find that midpoint like we did standing. And we're going to pull in those lower abdominals to hold this position. Then we're going to extend the right leg out behind, tuck the toes, pull the back towards you. Now we're going to squeeze that right buttock and get the leg up, lifting it up, tapping it down. So make sure that you're squeezing your right buttock to get the leg up and down. There's no movement through the torso and in particular you're not dropping the back to get the leg up. The back stays in that lovely position the whole time. From here we've got five, four, three, two, and one. This time we're going to come up and stay there. Get the leg up as high as you can by squeezing the bottom, not dropping the back. And we're going to pulse for ten, nine, eight. Really tight through the bottom, squeeze it. Six, five. Four, nice and still through the body, two, one. Now keep the leg up really high, squeezing the bottom. And we're going to hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Shoulders down, really still through the centre. Really keep that leg up high, don't let it start to drop. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, bring that leg in. We're going to do the same on the left. So extend it out behind you, tuck the toes. Now squeeze that left buttock to lift and then lower. 
Remember, nice and still through your centre, so low abdominals still engaged. And you want to get the leg up as high as possible without any dropping of the belly. So squeeze and lift. We've got five and four and three and two and one. Keep the leg up and pulse. Remember, squeeze the bottom for ten. Nine, eight, really still through your centre. Six, five, four, keep it coming up as high as possible without dropping the belly. Two, and one, keep it up now. Don't let the leg drop. Squeeze the bottom for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, shoulders down. Three, two, and one, draw it in. Just sit back on your heels for a moment, give the bottom a little rest. And drop the forehead to the floor if that's not comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, we're going to slide out onto our sides. So we're going to bend the knees up so that they are roughly level with the hips. We're going to take the spine and just push that top hip away so we're nice and straight down the body. We're going to have the top knee just slightly hanging over the front of the bottom knee. And we're going to press the heels together. So squeeze your heels. You're going to lift and lower this knee. So make sure that your hip bones stay stacked, that you're not rolling back off that hip to get the knee up. So really firing up the glutes. Press the heels together the whole time. So squeeze the heels. We've got six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Leave that knee up and just pulse for ten, nine, eight. Really squeeze that bottom. Six, five, press the heels together, squeeze them tight. Two, and one. Come down. From here, we're going to come round and onto our forearms. So you want elbows underneath your shoulders, palms flat to the floor. We're just going to lift away from the floor, so we don't want to be hanging here. We want to slide the shoulders down and get the work through them. Then we want to lift the belly so that we're not hanging it towards the floor, we're not arching it up. That midpoint, and we're going to lock into that by drawing in the lower abdominals. Then we're going to extend the left leg out behind. Again, tuck your toes, so they're pulling back towards you. Then we squeeze the left bottom. Lift it up, and we're going to tap it to the outside of the right foot, and back up. Try and get the leg as high as possible again by squeezing the bottom, not by dropping the belly. And if you imagine you have some headlights on your hip bones, they need to stay facing the floor. Don't let them start to move around as the leg moves. They need to stay facing the same spot. So we're going to go for ten, nine, remember lift that leg up nice and high, eight, Seven, six, tap down to the right, five, four, three, shoulders down, lower abdominals engaged, last one, hold it up, and then slide underneath you, same on the other side, extend the right leg, tuck the toes, remember those headlamps need to stay facing the same point on the mat, squeeze the right buttock, lift, Tap it down to the left and straight back up. So pulling in those lower abdominals. We've got 10 and nine. Get the leg really high without dropping the belly. Shoulders down. Six, five, four, three, Pull in the lower abs, two, and one. Take the leg up and slide underneath you. Just sit back again, give the bottom a little stretch. Arms wherever's comfortable for you. And then uncurling. We're just going to take the legs around, so face the other way. Head the opposite direction. We're going to finish off with these clams on this side. So lying down, remember you can use a cushion under your head if that's more comfortable. Knees roughly level with your hips, heels pressing together, top hip pushing away so you're nice and neutral through the spine. 
From there, pulling in those lower abdominals, we're going to lift and lower that top knee. Remember, you want the top knee slightly over the front of the bottom knee, because then you know your hips are stacked. And you want to keep them stacked, so just squeezing the bottom to lift, not rolling back. It's really important then um, to start make, make sure you're using your bottoms, not by using your rolling motion. We've got 10, 9, press the heels together, 7, 6, shoulder down, 5, 4, squeeze those heels together, squeeze the bottom, 2, and 1. Stay open, we're going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, really squeeze that bottom, two and one bring it down hug that knee in and just roll onto your back from there hugging the knees in and you are done i hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to stretch out your glutes when you're finished